Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back. Today I'm going to make a really adorable card using this Sizzix Unicorn die. I did a, a video of uh, showing you all the new releases by Sizzix Co UK and I will link it here as well as at the end of this video. So today I'm going to use this die and remember this is one of the thick dies, the big dies by Sizzix, which means that you can cut more materials than just paper. However, I will be working with paper now and I'm cutting a piece of glitter paper by Tonic Studios. I am creating my sandwich there just with the two cutting plates and now I'm going to run it through my Big Shot. Now the Big Shot I'm using is the new limited edition one and I just love the color. I do have all the pieces ready now and uh, this die actually gives you more pieces than the actual body of the unicorn which means that you can use different colored cardstocks and just piece everything together at the end or of course you can cut it out of white and just use your pencils or your favorite coloring medium to add the color. Now I'm working on this piece of white cardstock, this is slightly smaller than a standard card. I'm applying some ink with my blending tools and this is the Stress Oxide ink and I'm actually going to combine two different colors here which are Worn Lipstick and Picked Raspberry. And I started by applying a very light layer of these colors but then I decided that I wanted this to be more vibrant so I went back and added even more ink. Now I'm happy with how that looks and I'm going to do one of my go-to techniques when it goes to Distress Oxide inks so I'm going to add some splashes and then I'm going to blot them with my cloth. Now it's time to put my card together and I'm doing a little bit of paper piecing here. So all I did was uh, I used one pattern paper that I had with all the colors of the rainbow to cut out the tail of my unicorn as well as the mane. I'm using Nouveau Deluxe to glue everything together and uh, I think my unicorn really looks fabulous with all that rainbow colors as well as the shiny body. Now I did cut out a pink uh, piece of uh, paper because I need the feet of uh, the unicorn or I would should say the hoof, I think that's how you call them. Anyway, I'm going to cut off only the bottoms and I'm going to stick them on my other unicorn. So more paper piecing here and it's definitely one of my favorite techniques in card making along with uh, heat embossing I should say. Now I'm going to run my die one more time through my Big Shot machine and this time I'm using a piece of silver cardstock and uh, the idea here is to cut out the horn of my unicorn so I can paper piece that and have some shine there. And of course you can uh, turn it into any color you like, you can go with gold if you like, I decided to go with silver today. Now as always you will find a full list of all the supplies that I'm using today down below in the description area as well as on my blog. Now my unicorn is ready and it's time to place him on top of my background. I have also cut out this uh, cloud shaped uh, piece of paper using uh, one of my ties and by using tape adhesive at the back I'm going to stick this piece of paper at the very bottom of my panel. Using my scissors to cut off the excess at the back of my unicorn I use some foam tape so that my unicorn is a little bit uh, popped up on my card for added dimension. This is a card that I am creating for my goddaughter. She is turning 5 next month and I want to customize the card so I'm going to use these two Sizzix dies. These are the dainty birthday numbers and the sentiments die set. So from the numbers I'm going to cut out the number 5 of course and I'm using the same cardstock as I used for the unicorn's horn so it is going to match nicely with silver sign and I'm also going to cut out the word smile from the sentiments this is a lovely stamp set the one with the sentiments and it gives you three different words smile, dream and hello in beautiful handwritten font I'm going to stick number 5 on my unicorn I used foam tape at the back of my panel and I'm going to stick that on top of a standard card and that's four and a quarter by five and a half and notice how my main panel is slightly smaller so that I get a lovely white border all around. Now on the inside of my card I'm going to stick the word smile that I have cut out of uh, silver cardstock and then underneath this word I'm going to stamp it's your birthday so the whole sentiment reads smile it's your birthday. 
Now my birthday card is ready. I'm going to add just a final touch. I'm going to use my black nouveau drops and give an eye to my unicorn. And that was my card for today. Nice and shiny and really colorful. I hope you had fun, you got inspired, don't forget that you will find all the links that you need down below in the description area as well as on my blog. Thank you all for watching today and have a lovely weekend!